Tex Bryant, my grandfather. This grand old man became a legend in his own time. His code of ethics, his sportsmanship, his honesty, his courage, and his way of life could well be an example of anyone to try and follow. In 1913, in Waco, Texas, while working in a drugstore, Tex acquired his first motorcycle and used it to deliver orders. It was a Flounders 4. The following year, he changed to an Indian Twin, a 1912 model. Somewhere along in 1915, Tex acquired a big valve, short cobbled Excelsior. Guaranteed to do 90 mile an hour, Tex was 16 years old at the time. Then in 1916, Tex bought his first Harley Davidson, a four cylinder twin, and he stayed with Harley for 33 years. In 1917, still in Waco, Texas, Tex Ernest Willie Bryant started racing at the Cotton Palace and started winning in the same year. In 1921, he started stunt riding and was the grandstand at the Cotton Palace. Later on in the same year, along with his buddy Red Crawford, who also became famous, he went in for trick riding, roller drum, and straight wall. On February 22, 1922, Tex married Miss Beatrice Lyle, who he had known since he was two years old. So he probably had looked her over pretty thoroughly by then. Well, they left Waco in 1923 and migrated to California, where Tex went to work for Rich Butelier, Harley Davidson distributor in Los Angeles. Stayed there for 12 years, and then went into business for himself as a sub-dealer for Rich Butelier. Tex consistently won races for Rich Butelier from 1923 until 1935, both strip and road racing, sidecar and single. Tex was always a great box office, and the fans flocked in to see him win. Tex once built his own motor and despite considerable friendly jitters, won the big road race in the hills over the factory jobs. Averaging 119 mile an hour and finished up 20 miles ahead of the second place man. In 1927, Tex entered a 100 mile sidecar race, won all the lap monies and first place. Then 15 minutes later, he entered a 250 mile solo race. Again, won first place and all the lap money. If you will stop and think about this, you will agree, it was quite a feat. In 1926, Tex entered the Los Angeles to Phoenix road race, timed by Western Union, by way of Yuma at night. Tex broke all existing records except airplanes. Nine hours and seven minutes. This passed all previous records by two hours and seven minutes. He got a $60 prize. Cannonball Baker had held the old record driving at Duesenberg. This Los Angeles to Phoenix motorcycle time by Tex still stood 40 years later. Present day machines are faster and have more stamina. But remember, the oil feed had to be hand pumped in those days. Later on, Tex flew 60 feet in a board jump on the board at Huntington Beach. If he had known the world record was only two more feet, he would have broken it as he didn't use all of his push. Even so, the jump was a crowd pleaser. Yes, Tex loved to race, whether it was board track, road, or out on the dry lakes. If it had two wheels, he was going to race it. Even looking at 60 years old, Tex still just loved riding his motorcycle. 
Tex was also the founder of the 13 Rebels Motorcycle Club that is still in existence today all over the United States. This was a beautiful marriage and B was at his side until his passing. April 14, 1975 at the age of 76. So that's my grandfather, Tex Bryant.